Aloha! This is the Green Lightning Mr. T, and in this episode, I am busy resetting my stopwatch. So, we are still moving along, getting these doors open. And, who was that? Did he? One of them is dead, right? No, that's, that was the drums. I was right. Whatever, I'll just do the one for Diddy first now. Lanky doesn't have one over here. This one. Now, first thing, it's... Other kill room, you have to kill everything first. Use grenades, whatever you feel like. You know how to kill them. And it'll give you a spring, which leaves you access to a barrel, which is not located above it. There it is. Now what you want to do is light the candles. Nice little feature they added into this game. All you have to do is puff up your smoke. Press A or Z over a candle and the light on fire. As long as you're close enough. And there you go. There's your banana. Technically, <laughs> if you don't want to see him dance, you could use the spring. So oh, it'll make a fairy appear. Where's the fairy? There you are. And it is not moving anywhere fast. Which is kind of sad. I should be trying to make it harder as the game goes on. So, we now have 30 oranges. Just want to check. Oh, we got four. We must have had it for a while. Thought it was at 12. I don't know. The numbers are awkward. It probably was at 12 that we got the orange up here. I just didn't notice. Zinger keeps dying. Now this one, don't die. You have to kill everything in the room. That almost killed me. Except I landed over the thing. Now they do have nice uh, homing ammo in here. Make your life a bit easier, I guess. Maybe if it actually hits anything. But you should have lots of ammo but because you went to see Chunky, right? So you can just keep firing until you die. And that wasn't very much ammo because I have apparently a max capacity of 200, making that very much not a waste of ammo. Oh, forget the 
grab the stuff before you leave. Yeah! He didn't grab onto the edge. Or he didn't even... Whatever. He was trying to jump over the holes. Apparently there isn't enough room by the walls. Whatever. You die. You die. You just respawn back in the same room. They're nice enough to do that for you. In these areas. Because they're supposedly hard. Alright, next area. I guess Lanky's up. I like the music here, it's so nice. I think I could have kept Donkey Kong out, but I didn't, so whatever. It has just been one banana after the next, really. Go through these just these little buildings with short little tasks you have to do mainly. Right. I recommend you kill him before he kills you. Stop! Just swing your head. Fine. Oh, it won't let me. Please. Suck. That was me being lazy, by the way. Oh, it didn't. Ah, there. That's what I get for being lazy, apparently. Okay, that room wasn't designed to teleport you back. Sorry. I'll stop being lazy. Hold on. Coins. Anything else over here? Just want to do a quick glance. Not really. Oh, I can't get back up, really? No, 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 no. And by the way, that was not, that was coincidence, like the sound. I was not intentionally trying to imitate Lanky's uh, thing, I was just, never mind. I just realized how similarly that, how oddly timed that was, whatever it was I did. Okay, come here. No. Get out of there, thank you. Oh, now you decide to do it. Oh, man. Oh. No, wait. Yeah, there is another one. Alright. That's what this guy is for, which we will see in a second, and then Squawks will explain for us. Now this barrel is interesting. Um, it is the only barrel to immediately, uh, to let you out. 
because it is intended to be used in situations that involve speed, so they don't be wasting time. I guess crystals must be making this room bright. Because technically, we aren't we like underground and can't shouldn't be able to see anything. Should be excruciatingly dark without a flashlight or something like that. Otherwise, these crystals must be doing all that work. Alright, this area has the ne this um, levels battle area, so I will be doing that first. P please panic. That one said. Plin. 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 Panic. What the heck? Plin. Plin. I guess. Oh, that's close. Maybe I'll be lazy now. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to, you know, flux between being lazy and trying to actually not cheat, like, do, be, do a cheap job where you just jump on them. Let's just finish out with the crystal. Let's get started. This is a matching puzzle. As a, uh, Winkley said, match the faces. Dang it. I did green, didn't I? Yep, I did green. That was silly of me. Mainly it just match the colors. Not too hard a puzzle, really. I just was stupid.
Ah. That's what I get for messing up. You know, this Let's Play Curse is awful. It makes you mess up when you really shouldn't. I guess the only word of advice I can say is don't get confused by the orange and green. What? <laughs> um, I really should... Dang it. Yeah, I don't... I want to get that done first. So that's pretty much it for this area. All right, doing on time. I just got a bit more time. Let's head over to that other area, which is the igloos. Let me check my, how am I doing banana wise. Three, three, three. Wow. Oh, right. I guess I'll hold off on the igloos. Got a couple things we can do with Lanky. Well, technically, it's still an igloo. It's just in the shape of a castle. Also, have to get your blueprint, right? Yeah, I have to get these too. I don't know why I'm going this way, but I felt like going this way, so I'm gonna keep going. I know why, because I wanted to say hi to Naughty. Hi, Naughty! So nice that they threw this enemy back in just for, I guess, giggles. I mean, he's a, like the easiest ever. I don't know. Most basic enemy. Like, they, you never see again after the first level, which kind of is sad. Alright, so... This minigame is much easier to do without a certain upgrade that we'll be getting next... Um, level. I, wait, no. What is it? Oh, it is easier. Okay, never mind. I got it wrong. So, if you're having trouble with this game, you can wait until the next level and become easier. Hey, Linky, it's not much fun being stuck in this pokey igloo. So I made up a game to pass the time. If I don't play soon, I'll die of boredom. You're already dead of boredom. It's like he looks like a one of those evil tomatoes, actually. He even will jump like a tomato. Now what you want to do? He'll get a cheap off by starting before you're ready. What you want to do is follow him around and hit his panels. Ignore the, don't go after the blue one. This game, you're better off changing, going after his, because he gets minus one, you get, he gets minus one while you get plus one by doing this. So when he gets the, the ones that don't have anything, he is getting, um, plus one, but you're not getting a minus one. So just keep doing this. And what's kind of nice is that while he gets like a head start, you'll get an end uh, off where you get to hit a couple extra 
uh, while he's getting back to his chair. See, I got a couple extra. Oh, he's sending me back to the chair. You're not my friend anymore. I hate you because you beat me at this simple game I made while to pass the time. I hate you. I never want to sit your face around. I don't know. How evil can he get? Alright, so. We are definitely starting a new video. So. This has been the Green Lightning Mr. T. And to you I say. Aloha.